guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 World's Play. We are here with a new household today, and I went and checked the gallery, and this was the only new household up that I was up there, so I placed it in town. Now, this household is the second household that I placed in this LP by Lucas Polly, um, and I'm glad that he enjoys, you know, sending me The Sims for the LPs. I appreciate that. Um, and I hope a few more of you will send me some. So if you guys are looking into sending me some of your Sims, it doesn't matter um, if it's one Sim or eight Sims, feel free. Just use the hashtag GBCS4WP for GBB Challenger Sims 4 World Play. And um, I'll be able to put these into my, um, my LP. So... These guys were in there, so I went ahead and took them. Now, our first sim here is Destiny Butcher, and I really like the name Destiny and how it's spelt. So Destiny wants to have a big, happy family. Um, she needs to get a job, and she has lots of skills. She has charisma, cooking, fishing, fitness, guitar, logic, piano, video gaming, and violin, so that's pretty cool. Um, Heaven is her spouse, so this is her spouse, and then... Latoya is her daughter, so that's fine. Um, and then, um, let's see, she is a adult about to be an elder, so there we go. She is materialistic, outgoing, glutton, and dastardly. Now, if we look on here, you can see the family tree because now we have family trees in the game, so that's really cool. And um, she's very hungry, so... I am going to go ahead and let her cook up some food. Now, like I said, she wants to have a big, happy family, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do there. Go ahead and, yeah, I just put this house down for them. Um, I put three bedrooms. I didn't look at their relationships. I probably should have, but I just, I didn't. We'll have an extra bedroom. It's fine. Um, so go ahead and um, why don't you serve up some serve up some garden salad so you don't burn the whole house down because I'm not sure how much cooking you had only level one, so you're not that great yet. All right, then we have Heaven Wiseman, who is um, um, Destiny Butcher's spouse, as we said. Now, um, Heaven, I have to remember their names, wants to be a soulmate. She already has a boyfriend and girlfriend. They need to go on two dates together, which would be fine. We need to get her her career. Um, she has charisma, cooking, gardening, mischief, programming, um, video gaming, violin, and writing. It kind of seems like with the programming skill being at a level three, that that and gardening were kind of what she was working on. So we'll probably let her go into tech guru. And then for destiny, she was really into fitness. So we'll let her be athletic or be in the athletic career, athlete, whatever career. And, uh, we'll go from there. So that's probably what we'll do. Um, then she has, you know, this is her daughter as well. And then Destiny is her spouse. And then her inventory, there's nothing. She is also about to become an elder in 19 days. Um, she's hot-headed, evil, creative, and a collector. Now, this is the family tree as well, which I already showed you. But, you know, you can see from her side. And she's also hungry. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to let you get your job. Um, Where's your phone again? I forget. Oh, it's over here. <laughs> um... I haven't played this game in a long, long time, so that could help you understand. <laughs> All right, so let's you go into Tech Guru. And then we have LaToya. And LaToya wants to be a serial romantic, so she wants to have a boyfriend or girlfriend, go on two dates. Um, she is a C student right now in high school, so we do need to get her to do her homework and get one skill up to level two. Um, her skills are nothing. She hasn't really worked on anything yet, so we could work on that for her. And then these are her mom's. And then we have that she needs to do her homework. And uh, she is a glutton, romantic, and alluring. And she is, like I said, a teen with 52 days until she ages. We already seen the genealogy. And she also needs to get her food taken care of. So we'll get that taken care of for them. And then Heaven, we'll get you into Tech Guru because you were doing programming, which makes me think that you were in that anyways. So let's go ahead and do Tech Guru for you. Okay. Pretty cool. You want to play some video games? Well, they have some money that we could spend <clears throat> trying to get them like some nicer stuff. And normally what I do with this house, if I'm going to add a computer to it, is I do this. I take this bookshelf and I throw it over here. And then I go in here and I purchase a surface, which I purchase normally a desk, obviously. And um, I purchase the cheapest one because normally I don't like to go too expensive in the very beginning of this because... 
they don't have a whole ton of money. And then I purchased one of the same chairs from here and put it over here. And then I go in here for electronics and go to computers and I just purchased the cheapest one. And that's normally what I do. Um, actually, before I do that, let me put this to the color white or gray or whatever. This color. So it matches the TV. So there we go. That's that. You can go ahead and play some video games. Play some Sims Forever. And you should be good there. <clears throat> Alright, what's the matter, Destiny? I don't think she knows. She's like, um, not really sure. Just, you know, chopping my fingers off while I'm making some salad. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Fricka? Yeah. Fricka, Fricka, I just caught my, fin caught my finger. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to let you go into the athlete career when you're done with this. You want to rummage in the trash? You want to do what? Meet someone new? We could do that. We'll pin those for you. You want to become inspired? All right. Go into the athlete. Yep. You want to become inspired. You want to make an enemy. I don't know about that one. This one, you want to flirt with someone and you want to cook a meal. Okay. We could do both of those for you. That'd be pretty easy. All right. So you're 25% done with your homework. That's pretty cool. How's this salad going, friend? You're taking a little bit long. Ew, you're cleaning out your ear with your finger and now you gotta stick your finger in there. That's disgusting. Gross. Gross. Very gross. <laughs> That's fine, whatever. If they don't care, then I don't care. <laughs> Alright. So you go ahead and eat. I'm gonna put this in the fridge just for when they're done with whatever. They can come grab some. All right, and you need to work out. So when you're done, I wish you could work out with this. I really do, but you can't. I hate that for you. We could get you a treadmill or something, but we'll probably just let you go jogging. And that'll be nice. We'll let you just go jog and have some fun that way. So when you're done, go ahead and... I don't want to click it because I don't want you to get knocked out of eating. Whoa. <laughs> a little bit much there, friend. A little bit much. All right. Um, when you're done with your homework, come on over here. You're going to go ahead and serve up a dinner. Go ahead and make up make up some grilled cheese. Come on, you can do that. You can make up the grilled cheese. Why is your face so close to your homework? <laughs> okay. Okay, when you're done, go ahead and clean that up. And then we'll let you go jogging. So one, two. I'll tell you to go three times. So I'm guessing that's probably what you're going to have to go. And then you can come back here and you can use this. And you can take a shower. And then it'll probably be time for bed. So we'll probably let you go to bed. Alright, you my friend, Miss Wiseman. Wiseman. Alright, um, your fun's almost up, but I'm letting you do this for work, more or less. Alright, let's go check out your athletic clothes. Alright, Latoya just finished her... Uh, all right, nice. I like your athletic clothes. She just finished your homework, so we'll come back over here and watch you make up some grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Good for you. <laughs> All right. What's the matter? It's just grilled cheese, lady. It's just grilled cheese. Ooh, snippity. <laughs> you wanted to cook a meal, so I'm trying to help you with that, friend. I'm trying to help you with that. All right, you have class in 13 hours. Well, the nice thing I can say is we finished your homework and we're working on a skill, so we've done pretty much everything we can pretty much help you with. So that's pretty good. Okay. And we need to get another chair, to be honest. We really do. All right, pretty cool. I'll put these away for you. What do you want to do? Be funny with Heaven? Sure, you can be funny with her. Are you done with this? You are. Okay, come on over here and grab. Why don't you eat some of the grilled cheese? Grab a serving of that. All right, and you're still working out. That's fine. What's this? Goodbye. I don't know who you are, lady. <laughs> Why are you going to tell me goodbye? <laughs> I don't think she knows. All right, so you go ahead and eat. That'll get you two taken care of, and then we can go from there. Now, you want to be funny with Heaven, so let's go ahead and be funny. Funny and tell her an inside joke. Get, let's get in here. We want to be part of this inside joke. You guys are friends, so that's good. Emma, it's about dinosaurs. Who doesn't want to know a, a joke about dinosaurs? <laughs> there we go. She got lots of points for that. Alright, and you want to make a group meal? 
and you want to make a friend. All right, well, we could do those things. All right, um, you, my friend, are still jogging. How close are you to being done? You're 50% done with that? That's pretty, that's pretty good, actually. I'm pretty proud of you. So, good job with that. Keep going. Now, I think they all have about three days vacation time, so we could go on vacation. Um, but it really doesn't matter to me. All right, so she's got a couple skills now. She knows comedy and cooking, so that's pretty good. Got her two skills, and it didn't even take us that long. All right, I'm going to have you... Let's see, what am I going to have you work on? Friend and daughter. You don't know her traits? That's pretty sad. That is really sad, actually. All right, let's set the color and intensity to all lights on this lot. And let's do it the cool white. Just makes it brighter, I think. Though these lights aren't the best, they work. So that's all that matters. All right, you go ahead and clean up. And then you want to call someone on the phone. I don't think you know anyone to call on the phone. Like I said, you just know your parents. So let's go ahead and get you taken care of. No, 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 no. Inappropriate. Go to bed. And you go ahead and clean up the dishes. Keep cleaning. Keep cleaning up the dishes today. Now, I've had a glitch ever since on up the update. I have I had a glitch in my personal game where my Sims couldn't actually clean up the dishes. And it was really frustrating. So, I'm glad that it's not a glitch throughout the whole game. And it's just a glitch, you know, for that. But... It's just a glitch of that game, but I'm still upset that it even happened. All right, come on in here. You should be able to use the bathroom at the same time. And that'll be good. And then I'll get you in here. You can go to sleep. And that pretty much takes care of your guys' first day here in town. Now, like I said, Latoya has uh, school tomorrow because tomorrow's Wednesday. And Heaven has work in 13 hours. And Destiny has work in 17 hours. And they're both done with their stuff that they had to do. So that's cool. And she's done with their homework. So that makes me feel better. At least I'll know everyone will go up in their career or school tomorrow. And that'll be good. And then we can go from there. So that's good. All right. Let's get you out of that shower. Because you're taking way too long in there. Um, and then we can get you guys taken care of. You want to make a friend, meet someone new, okay? These are things that we'll have to do when they are able to do them. Like I said, right now it's pretty much 10.30 and nighttime, so. Man, you took way too long in that shower. Alright, so go ahead and take care of this. And then we'll get you guys taken care of in the morning when you guys all get up. Because that'll be the next time that anything happens with you guys. So, here we go. Alright. Got some more time with these guys, so we'll continue on tomorrow's day. We might even finish tomorrow's day, and then I'll probably have to switch to a new household, which is fine. We will do that. All right, guys, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock in the morning. The conversation got boring. All right, go ahead and take care of your bathroom needs, and then I'll get you over here. You can go ahead, and let's see. You need to make up. You want to serve a group meal. We could serve up some breakfast if you had enough time. I think you might. Make up some scrambled eggs. Come on. It's good for you. I love how you're on the phone when you're on the toilet. That's just not appropriate at all. I hate when people are like, I'm like, I can hear something in the bathroom. Where are you? Oh, you know, I'm on the, I'm going to the bathroom. Ew, gross. Don't call me while you're on the bathroom. <laughs> that's, what I, <laughs> that's what I always say. Oh, man. All right, you want to do something romantic. <laughs> All right, you're up. You're you're ready. So why don't you guys be romantic to each other? Come on. You guys are wearing the same pants. How cool. All right, go ahead and blow her a kiss. Come on. We can work on your guys' relationship. She's going to make breakfast, so it's not like we need to get you guys right out there right now. You guys go ahead and be romantic first. Embrace her. Go ahead and compliment her appearance. You want to schedule a date? Um, express your fondness. Go ahead and make a move. <laughs> um, make out with her. Come on. Go 
Come on, do these things. Okay. You guys should be a little bit friendly as well. Not so much all romance, but friends, friend, friendly as well. Aww, how sweet. Seven more. Seven more. <laughs> Alright, make out. Do it. They're pretty much wearing the same thing, just different tops, colors, whatever. So it's okay. Alright, well, at least you guys were nice and got to do that. You go ahead and you use and you take a shower when you're done. And we can go from there. And you needed a bit of fun, so I'll let you just sit down. You can go ahead and channel surf. Why not? Who doesn't want to channel surf? You guys are too cute. They are really cute together. Good job, Lucas. <laughs> Alright. So finish making this, and then you'll get that, and then we'll hopefully we'll have enough time to get you to eat. And then we can go from there. Alright, so you grab a plate. You can go ahead and grab a serving. And you can go ahead and grab a serving when you're done in the bathroom. And then everyone will be good. And then uh, we'll have everyone taken care of for needs. Alright, so you just watch TV. That'll be good. You're taken care of pretty much. You need fun, but nothing I can really do there. You want to cook an excellent meal? Okay. Sounds like a good deal to me. Alright, fun. Sounds good. We can get you fun when you get home. I think Latoya is really pretty, so... And I really think Destiny. I love the different colored hair. But I think they're all very, very cute. They're a very cute family. Alright. We do need to get you to get some fun. Or some hunger. You're pretty good. I mean, you need a little bit of fun, but not too much. Because you had a lot of fun yesterday on the video games. That really helps. Depending on what you have to do for work, it really helps. So, it's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to get you to go ahead and clean up. I'm going to tell you to do it twice. Just because I don't know if you're going to do it the first time. And I'm going to tell you to put these away as well. Latoya is off to school. Alright, I'm going to get you to stop watching TV for a second. And come on over here and get some food. And then you can go ahead and watch the... Let's see. Watch the news. You can watch the news. You guys will sit together, talk. That'll be nice. This will get you fun and hunger at the same time. So that'll be nice. Look how serious they are. She's very serious. Alright. And uh, Latoya's at school. So she's working on that. You can come over here and you can look at, um, at this and see if it's going up or down. Alright. So heaven works in about an hour. Okay. That's fine. And you can see it's going up. Shows you right there. That arrow right there shows that it's going up. So that's good. Alright. Come on, heaven. Eat, please. She's like, I am. I'm almost done. <laughs> what are you talking about? Alright, so you go ahead and clean up. Like I said, sometimes you have to click it twice. Sometimes you don't. It really depends. I don't know. So, this time I didn't have to, but next time I might. I don't know. Alright, we're going to get you into the bathroom. Get your needs taken care of now. That'll get everyone taken care of in the bathroom. <clears throat> and it'll we've got everyone fed, so that's cool. And then we can go from there. And you're about to head out to work in about eight minutes after you wash that dish and put that food away you are. And then uh, Destiny, it's just going to be us and you. So I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know how much time you have. You have about five hours. All right, well, bathroom cash. While well, taking a quick break, Latoya spies some money just sitting on a sink in the bathroom. Should she slide it in her locker for safekeeping or just turn it into the principal right away? Why don't you go ahead and turn it in? All right, the principal acknowledges the courage it took to bring the money to him. He then launches into a 20-minute speech about honesty and integrity that LaToya tunes out of halfway through. But the principal does insist that LaToya's teacher give her extra credit for good citizenship, so her performance gain was small. Nice. All right, and Heaven's off to work. You do want to meet someone new, so we could get you to do that. We could go out here and meet somebody. Who else is out here? Let's see... Meet. Go meet this person. Go ahead and give a friendly introduction. Who is it? Brian. All right, we'll go meet Brian. We haven't met Brian yet, so this will be nice. Get you out of the house. Get you to be able to meet some people so you can have some friends maybe. Throw some parties. Who knows? 
what you want to do in life. I don't know. All right, so go ahead and meet Brian. I love how you just stand on the grass, you know. <laughs> no one will care. <laughs> you want to become friends with Brian? We could become friends with him. Be friendly, ask about his day. Go ahead and um, have a deep conversation with him. Discuss fitness techniques. Discuss hydration. Um, discuss your interests. Go ahead and uh, discuss the latest games. Brighten his day. Go ahead and let's see. Debate game strategy. Um, discuss the best violinist. Enthused about guitar solos. Too funny. Get to know him. Uh, gossip. Um, let's see. Talk about best bait. What's going on? Why are you guys bored? Bored of a dull conversation. I don't understand why it's a dull conversation. You are trying to get to be friends. Go ahead and be funny. Do an impression. Now she's just embarrassed. That's okay. She'll be fine in just a second. This conversation seems to be going pretty well to me. I don't know. He's lazy. Oh boy. He's lazy. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and be funny. Tell him a funny story. Go ahead and tell him a joke about Martians. Um, let's see. Alright, she got the comedy skill. Okay. Go ahead and let's see. Show off your muscles. Come on. You got to have some muscles. That's what I always called them when I was younger. Muscles. It was too funny. All right. Rhapsodize about piano sonatas. Go ahead and let's see. Talk about best bait, I guess. I don't know. Is that the male lady? Yeah, I think so. Wait, 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 wait. We're not done talking to you, friend. We're not done talking to you. All right, ask about his day. Stop. Go ahead and brighten his day. No, I don't want you to get going. I want you to talk with me. Okay. Go ahead and um, have a deep conversation. Let's see. Discuss your interests. I don't think he likes active because he's lazy. So he's like any of the ones that are like from being an athlete. Express your admiration. He's non-committal. We know all of his traits now. He's non-committal, lazy, and perfectionist. You want to buy a toy? All right, let's go ahead and go over here. You have to spend a thousand on toys, anyways. So we'll go ahead and do that right now, because you want to buy a toy. All right, let's go ahead and go into toys. Let's purchase, let's see. Um, it's Valentine's. Come on, let's get a Valentine bear for our loved one. Here you go. There's a Valentine bear for our loved one. Um, mm, we'll get a green one of these. Let's see, let's put it, let's put it here. And then, um, um, get this, put it in the center of the table. I think that might be enough. Yeah. It was 530 simoleons worth. Be friendly with Brian. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't leave. Don't leave, Brian, don't leave. <laughs> um, go ahead and... Let's see. Um, give him a hug. Come on. She starts working about an hour. Well, that's fine. We've got some stuff done for her, so that was nice. Made her a friend. 
She wants to buy a pool. I don't know if you really got space for a pool. I mean, your lot is very tiny, so... It's kind of funny that you want that, but you don't really have the room for it. And you need to spend about 400 more for... Um... For work. Or for... What you call it. So, let's go ahead and just buy you... Let's just buy you this. We'll put it over here in the corner. I think that might be enough. Five, fifth, or forty-five dollars now. Oh my goodness! All right, forty-five dollars. That's forty-five. I don't know if it'll work though. I really don't. Okay, we'll get another one of these for our daughter. We'll give her the pink one. Here we go. There you go. Bam. All right, we need to. What does that say? Read to a child for two total hours and socialize with our child ten times, which will be pretty easy to do. What do you want to do? Tell a joke? All right, tell a joke. Be funny. Tell a joke about Martians. Come on. He'll love it. He will love this. All right, that should be pretty good. And let's see. All right, guys, well, I'm over my time on this family, so I've spent way too much time here. But I was having some fun, and it was one of your guys' um, households. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and quickly save as. And I need to save as what this is. So let's see. Um, this, house, this is what it is. World Play LP. So save it there. Yes, I want to overwrite it. And then we need to go up into management. We need to um, switch over to the next house. So let's just manage worlds. And we're going to choose the next household that's going to be in this. Now, I like I said, there is no other person in the gallery. So I can't place anyone. So we're just going to choose someone that we haven't played already. And we've played everyone here. So I placed them here. If you guys didn't know, I placed them in the Streamlet single, which is next to, it's in like the starter place for Willow Creek. We're going to go over to Oasis Springs. There's a couple of families over here that we haven't played. There's the Land Grabs and there's the Caliente household. I'm going to go play the Land Grabs. I'm going to go play them. So let's go play them. And then we'll only have one other household here. Um, but in April, as you guys know, there is a new Sims 4 uh, LP coming out. LP. A new Sims 4 expansion pack coming out. So there'll be a new world that we'll be able to jump into and play with them as well. And it'll be pretty entertaining. So I look forward to it. Alright, so as you guys know, this is the land grabs. And this is their household. So you can tell... You know, we I'm sure you guys have seen it. So I'll just show you like a brief glimpse of it. But that's pretty much all that's in their house. Then you just have this up here, which I never really go up there because it's kind of a waste of space for my in my opinion, but that's all right. All right, you want to go ahead and call someone on the phone and you want to buy a toy as well because you want to have a successful lineage. Um you have a job. It's in the tech guru or the secret agent career, excuse me. Uh, your skills are in charisma, fitness, mischief, and video gaming, mostly in mischief. Your relationships are a lot with a lot of people. Malcolm is your son, and Nancy is obviously your wife, so that's fine. And then you know a couple of other people out in the town. Now, you don't have anything in your inventory. Your symology is outgoing, good, family or domestic. You have 58 days until you age to an elder, and you're actually in a pretty good mood right now. Then we have Nancy who wants to get a promotion. She wants to critique something, which if you click on something like this, you just critique it and there you go. So she wants to be fabulously wealthy. She wants to, um, she's in the criminal career at a level five, which she needs to do some of this stuff. Um, she is got, she has the charisma, comedy, fitness, programming, video gaming skills, um, again, she's with a couple people now. She is romantic with Dennis Kim, who's in the Spencer Kim Lewis household, which is kind of funny. Jeffrey is her husband. Then she also has Gilbert, who is also her romantic significant other person dude. Um, and nothing in her inventory. And then she has materialistic, ambitious, snob, and business savvy, and 58 days as well. Now, if we look at her genealogy, it's just her, uh, Jeffrey, and Malcolm here. So you can see that, and uh, that's that. 
And then we have Malcolm, who's a teenager. He wants to critique something. He wants to make an enemy. Um, he is the public enemy. It's a, his life, his aspiration is. Um, he is a C student in high school, so he needs to get that homework done. He has the charisma, logic, and mischief skills. Um, he, ha he knows quite a few people, mostly just his parents, which he's not the greatest friends with his parents, to be honest. But, um... He really, he is friends with Bella, and he's okay with Lauren, not the greatest. All right, so we're going to get you to do your homework, and you are a snob, evil, and dastardly. He's got 30 days until he's a young adult, and um, again, same genealogy, just moved up a little bit. And that's pretty much that. So we're going to go ahead and go with this, and you want to call someone on the phone. So why don't you go ahead and chat with Kirsten? Go ahead and chat with her on the phone, and that'll get you guys all done with what you guys need to do. All right, Malcolm, go do your homework, please. You want to be friendly with Malcolm? That's fine. We also need to buy you guys toys. Now, as you know, normally with this family, I let them do whatever they want. And since Nancy's kind of romantic with some other people, maybe we'll go ahead and just let her, you know, woohoo with them. Who knows? <laughs> That's normally what I let them do. I just let them woohoo with whoever they want. All right, so to get a promotion, both of these guys, what do you guys need to do? Friendly interactions, you need to reach level 5 and level f in logic and in charisma. So why don't you come over here and go ahead and play. That'll get you working on that. And you need to do mischief interactions and reach level 6 in the mischief skill. So that'll be nice. We'll get you to just... Why don't you go ahead and uh, invite this person over. We'll go ahead and just be mean. Oh, you want to help Malcolm with his homework? Okay. Well then, uh, help with homework. All right, he just acquired the logic skill, and she'll be right over. Well, we'll introduce ourselves to her when uh, we're done with this, but come on. Don't let him finish it. Where is she going? Is she stuck? What's the matter? She's frozen. It's so weird. Whoa, where'd she go? That was weird. That was really weird. You could do some mischief interactions with this guy. Um, do a cheerful introduction? Sure. And you could do one with her as well. That'll get you two taken care of. And then you need to do some mischief interactions, so we'll get you to do those. Once you finish him with, finish helping him with his homework, which he's almost done. And then you wanted to critique something? Yep. So you can go ahead and critique that as well when you're done. Speed you guys up. Okay. So you go ahead and do this. And I'm going to pull this into your inventory. Because we don't really need it on our picnic table outside. So <laughs> there we go. Alright, so go ahead and do this. And then you want to do what? Practice speaking in a mirror? Sure, go ahead. Practice your speech. And how are you doing? Good, bad, not sure. What do you want to do with him? Be friendly with him. Wow, I'm surprised. All right, um, mischief interaction. So mischief, um, invite him to a fake party. Give her a cheerful introduction. Mischief, lie about your career. You can pickpocket him. You're totally trying it. Pickpocket, go ahead and scare him. Go ahead and start a preposterous rumor. Go ahead and trick them with a the hand buzzer, which they like, so it's kind of funny. But, oh, and this girl, Alex, is already sad. So sad. He's sad. Why are they, what are they doing? Ooh, she just stole 80 bucks from him. Crazy. Mischief. You can't pickpocket. People might get suspicious. Invite her to a fake party. <laughs> Come on. Go ahead and, um... Trick her with a hand buzzer. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to do that? <laughs> All right, you reach level two. Too cool. <laughs> Go ahead and scare her. <laughs> invite her to a fake party. And then go ahead and invite this guy to a fake party. No, and still with false confidence, because that one's a good one, too, and they don't mind it. They really don't. <laughs> it's too funny. All right, so she's done with her interactions, so she can do whatever she wants. How are you doing? You need to do friendly interactions, which is fine. 
You could do that. Okay, you needed to eat. What do you want to do? Get to know your dad? Sure. Go ahead and stop this. Let's go ahead and let you make up some dinner. Go ahead and serve up some garden salad. Now, I wish you guys could order, like, pizza or something, but I don't think you guys can. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you order, can you call for services and see if you can? Hire a service and see what we can get. See if we can get some pizza. Pizza delivery! Cheese pizza? Let's get Canadian bacon pizza. Come on. That way you don't have to cook. Use a bowl to pick up line on someone. You're hungry. You don't want to cook. Pizza's on the way. Alright. Who's Brian? Brian was... I feel like I know Brian now. I don't know why. Maybe it was someone we were talking to in the last household. Nope. She knows Brian. They're only friends that she knows him. Okay. You want to do a me... You want to make an enemy? I'll give him a rude introduction. That'll make an enemy out of him. Alright, so she's just out here just talking with these people. She don't care. She don't care at all. <laughs> Let's see. Your mischief is almost at a three. Wow, that was pretty quick. That pizza was made faster than it is in real life. Fuma. Alright, take the pizza. Yeah, see, they're already started off on a bad note. That's how you get them into enemies. You just give them a rude introduction. <laughs> Alright, come on. Stop it. Get the pizza. That's a very tiny pizza. I don't know how many pieces are going to come out of that, but it's very tiny. Alright, so go ahead and put it there. What's that? Goodbye? Alright, take a slice. And I don't really want it outside. It's kind of just weird there, so let's move it inside. Let's move it um, move right there. Alright, are you hungry? You probably are. No, you're not really that hungry. And you're okay. So that's fine. We'll just let him eat. He's the only one that really needed it, but that's okay. Alright. So you got your pizzas? Mmm. Pizza. <laughs> just get excited about the pizza. Mmm. Pizza. Alright, when you're done, go to the bathroom and go ahead and wash your hands. That'll take care of your hygiene. And you're done with, like I said, you're done with, um... Your homework and you've already got the skill to level two because it's in you've got it in charisma and you've got it in mischief so we don't have to worry about that that's fine and then Jeffrey here he's just working on that logic skill which he needs to get to a level five and he's only a level two though we, I want to get the friendly interactions done he wants to be friendly with his son so when his son is done in the bathroom I'll let them talk for a little while become better friends and then we'll, we should be good from there Alright, she starts working an hour. That's fine. He's confident. Well, um... They don't really hate you, so you should feel okay. You hate Eliza, though. Eliza Pancakes. Which is too funny that you hate... That you guys are hated. Whatever. Alright, so you're close to a level 3 in this. Go ahead and pickpocket him again. Come on, get some more money. <laughs> Um, invite him to a fake party. I know the ones that are okay. Instill with false confidence. Trick him with a hand buzzer. Um, scare him. Normally those ones you can do okay in. Who's this? Landon Barrages? Okay. She's up to level three. What else can we do for mischief now? Um, nothing really. Nothing. <laughs> She's so excited about it. Alright, go ahead and... Lie about your career. And go ahead and... I don't know. That's probably it for right now. Alright, how are you doing? Come over here. And sit here. That way your dad can talk to you and keep playing chess. And then that way we'll get that taken care of. So that he can do his friendly interactions but also be working on that logic skill. Because it is important that he gets that logic skill taken care of. Alright, so you go ahead and be friendly. <clears throat> Why don't you ask about your son's day. Go ahead and boast about family. Go ahead and have a deep conversation. 
You can go ahead and discuss fitness techniques. What do you want to do? Stargaze with him? We could totally do that. Um, be friendly. Discuss your interests. Be friendly and discuss logic puzzles. You can discuss world peace, which he's going to hate probably, so don't do that. Actually, because he's evil, so he's not going to like that. Express your admiration for him. Go ahead and um get to know him. He's learned the fitness skill now. Yeah, because we're talking to him about it. Go ahead and let's see. Give the woohoo talk. Heartfelt compliment. Good lesson. Yeah, we know. He's good. He's bad. We know. We know the D's. The details. The O's. Lecture about responsibility. Tell him a dramatic story. And then why don't you guys go ahead and uh, ask him to stargaze. Because you did want to stargaze with him. So that would be nice. And she's at work. So it's just the two of them now. Alright. Outgoing lesson. Pretty cool. Alright. How are you doing? You've completed your friendly interactions. Which is pretty good. And your logic's only at a two, but you're not really playing it anymore, so just go ahead and uh, just talk with him. You guys are maxed? Oh my goodness. You guys are good friends. Perfect. I like to see that. I like to see good friends. That's good. I like that your thing, your relationship is maxed. Now you guys can stargaze together, and this will be sweet. Oh, look how cute they are. All right, you want to help with this homework sometime? Maybe tomorrow when he comes back from school. Alright, you're very inspired. Why are you sad? Oh, good versus evil. Okay. Because your son is evil, so. He gets that from his mama bear, I can tell you that much. She is evil to the max. And I think everyone's pretty much done with the pizza, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the fridge for, you know, leftovers and stuff. And when he's ready, he can come in and grab a slice. Let's go ahead and take a slice. And then... Malcolm can go to the bathroom. So, I love this interaction, and I love that they get illuminated by stars. Looking up the vast sky brings inspiration that anything is possible. Too freaking cute! Alright, so I thought I told him to go to the bathroom, but I guess he didn't. So when he's ready, he can go to the bathroom. Um, and then I'll have him come upstairs, and he can go ahead and go to bed. Now, normally I give him this bedroom, and I give the parents this bedroom over here, just because I think this one's more like the master, for the fact that it's got, like, workout equipment and stuff in it. Plus, it also has its own bathroom. Yeah, this one has its own bathroom as well, but it doesn't. it's not as big of a room. It doesn't have the workout stuff in it. And the balcony is much smaller over here compared to over here, so I kind of give this one the master and this one is the is um, Malcolm's and then upstairs it's just um it's just like a study area the whole problem is though is no one in this household likes to paint and they already have computers in their own rooms so it's kind of like pointless to have those computers up there unless everyone was going to be using a computer at the same time and then you still have a f another computer that no one uses so it's just a little bit weird, but that's okay. All right, go ahead and stop doing this. He needs to eat, and you need to go to the bathroom. And since you guys are max on relationship, it's not that big of a deal to get you guys to continue on with that. So we'll get him to eat because he's very hungry, and pizza seems to be the way to go today. Um, so we'll go ahead and get you some pizza. And he's got a lot of good stuff going for him right now, so he's in a really good mood. What do you want to do? Buy a bar? Man, we could totally buy a bar. Don't you guys have one, though? I thought you guys did. If you guys don't, I'll buy you one. Oh, my goodness. Did they not have a bar? Hold up. I thought they did have one. Maybe it's upstairs? No. It's not on this floor, at least. Oh, my goodness. They don't have a bar. We're totally buying them one. We're going to stick it right between these two um counters. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy the one. They have plenty of money to do this. So it's not like it's that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and do activities and skills, and I think it's under miscellaneous. All right, let's go with this one, and let's see. Let's go with this. Okay, it can't fit there. All right, but it can fit over here. <laughs> All right, go ahead and put it there. That way we can come up here, we can drink or whatever. Really, this room should be just moved around a bit, and it should be put like this, and then this should go in between it. But, to be able to go in between it, you would need to move one of these. You know what we could do? We could just put them to one side, like this. Put this here, put this here. 
and then put this bar over here. Why can't it go there? I don't understand. Weird. It won't let me put it there. Yeah, my time's going off now, so I'm going to have to get ready to go. Okay, so they could do it there. It's so weird that I couldn't do it on the other side. Um, I could just move this stuff around a little bit. It just gives them um, a little bit more room. So let's put this stuff more over here. Let's do it, uh, let's do it like this. This here. And then put the chairs here. And really, this could go here, this here. And then that way I've changed up the house just a little bit so they have a little bit more to it. And we could pull this out probably a little bit more and that'd be nicer. Alright, so that works for me. I think we can live with that. I mean, I don't see why not. Uh, we do need a light, so let me buy that really quickly. Yes, phone, I hear you. I hear you. <sighs> okay, um, let's just get some really nice lights. Um, let's go with these ones. I think I've ever used these lights before, so this will be nice. And we'll just get two of them so that they have pretty nice lighting in here. And then they can come up here and they can... They can do stuff at the bar if they want to. They can do whatever they want. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this LP. So if you guys liked it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the next one, we'll be checking out the last household here. And hopefully some more of you will be putting up your sims with the hashtag GBCS. 4 WP for GB Challenger Sims 4 World's Play and I'll look forward to it. I'll check it and make sure that some of you guys have or haven't put them up there and uh, we'll look into it. I'm really hoping to see some of your Sims but if not we'll check in with the Caliente household and then we'll start at the top of the list and continue on. So guys again if you guys liked it please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel. In the description below there's a donation link if you'd like to donate to my channel. Also down there are links like my Sims 3 page and all that stuff. Stuff, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, all that. So if you guys are looking forward to checking any of those out, definitely do so. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks very much for watching.